All right, guys, so we're obviously here at the end of this course, and we run during the baseline class the man car drill at the end of the course. The man car drill is a performance on demand based standard that I came out with about almost going on four years ago. Um, and I wanted to incentivize law enforcement officers, including myself at the time, to step outside of their comfort zone and perform in front of their peers. Not just the first round out of their gun, but the last round out of their gun needs to be accountable. So I came up, obviously, three years ago, four year, almost four years ago, ammo became kind of hard to find. Um, and my department was saying, hey, we need to scrunch our ammo allotments. So I was like, shit, how do I come up with a qual or something, a performance on demand based standard that I want to hold myself to at a cold pause, right? First rounds I send down range, I want it to be accurate. I want them to be accountable. And how do I do that while also heightening the sense of stress within a controlled environment? I came up with the man card drill. This drill fucks with the human psyche of a type A man, you know, type personality. I led off the class with a uh, humility story, where I come from, and the fact that my crew, my team here is a zero ego crew, and we embrace humility. So whether you pass or fail, this is your humble card, right? This is not me taking your man card and you hang your head for the rest of the next two weeks, month, year, right? You get one attempt at this at every course you come out to. You get one attempt at any event you come out to. Um, and it's a skill set. It's a performance on demand test of your skill set and abilities, both rifle and pistol. One round of accountability. The first round that leaves your gun needs to be accountable just as the last. So five iterations. This is called the short card. Five iterations. One from a compressed ready. One from a holster, one from a low ready with rifle, one from a high ready with rifle, and a one transition one rifle to pistol transition. The first one, compressed ready, done in one second. Holster, any level of concealment, retention, whether the lights are on or off, whether you're under night vision, 1.5 seconds. The next one, you're going to pick up that rifle, low ready. It's just a downward cover of a 45 degree, so it's standardized and fair for all online. Downward angle, 45 degree, one second up on target and high ready, looking over top of that muzzle, not through the gun, up on target, one second. Then you're gonna take that empty mag that I had you guys make. You're going to insert that into the gun with attack reload, and you're gonna set yourself up for a one transition one in 2.5 seconds. All right, if you get all the way through, which you get two attempts at every iteration, if you get all the way through, you get to retain your man card. There is only 65 out in existence, 65 of these cards out there. Some of the people that own these cards, we have one that owns seven of these cards, right? He has retained his man card seven times. And even the last one he just did, he crushed it from concealment. There's only four of these out there in the wild done from concealment, right? There's of the 65 that are out there. So it's a big flex. It's a, it's a cool thing to throw on your buddies and saying, hey, dude, I just took Rick's course. I got a man card. And, uh, you know, this is not the final chapter of my goal because guess what else we just came out with? The long card, right? The, after I've established a baseline and I'm able to accomplish the, the short card, I'm now going to set off to now go accomplish and forward that baseline of performance on demand. Law enforcement, you're expected to perform on demand and civilians, when you're being a responsible armed citizen, you're also expected to perform on demand. That CCW doesn't make you an entitled uh, owner of a weapon it makes you a responsible owner of a weapon, all right? This is a drill that you guys can, if you screw it all the way up, right? You mess it up and you miss every single time you run two iterations at every drill, you fired six rounds out of your pistol, six rounds out of your rifle. Super low round count, right? An extreme demanding size of target distance from, you're gonna run this at 25 yards on a C-zone piece of steel, and you're gonna be held to those time standards. All right, it's a, it's a test of your skill set and abilities. So I'm gonna hand each and every one of you a man card. Some of these cards are pretty freaking salty. They're almost four years old. So if you get a salty one, don't be like, hey Rick, I really want a different card because mine's all bent up, beat up. Looks like there's some blood, sweat, or tears on my card. There probably is because it has touched a lot of hands. And I do have some OG cards in the mix. I don't think any of you got one. But <clears throat> if you guys, go all the way through and retain it, you get to keep that for life. That is also now your admit one ticket to run the long card. So the long card is a performance on demand based standard all around one round of accountability. But now you have to accomplish 14 of them in a classroom setting while all eyes are on you all the way through from start to finish. All right. This is a really cool achievement that not a single person has ever been able to achieve yet. All right. I say yet because where there's a goal, people will find a way, right? 
All right, so anytime you guys take a class, if an instructor has a performance on a man-based standard, any kind of standard, and he is afraid or she is afraid to demonstrate it in front of you, whether pass or fail, you should just leave the course because if they're not willing to fail, your instructors, your firearms instructors, you're a firearms instructor, you should be able to not just articulate a point, but you should also be able to demonstrate and instill confidence that the point that you're trying to make within the class is not just data proven to work, but it's also you know, shown to work because of your performance in front of your peers, all right? So first one's gonna be a compressed ready C-zone steel. We're gonna be right in front of the line of um, these target posts. You're gonna need a part-timer. You're gonna need a buddy or you can set it on delay. You guys can run this on your own with your range buddies, but you can only retain a man card. You can't send me a video and I send you one. You can only retain one within a class because of that controlled, controlled stress that's now implemented in. All right, I'm gonna scoot right. You guys can square up on a piece of steel. I know we just have four out there, but you can square up on a piece of steel. First one's gonna be a compressed ready. Make sure you're watching me, the shooter. I want you guys to Come to a compressed ready and finger is straightened off the trigger. In one second in time, you're going to present out and break one round on that C-zone size of target. All right, no cheating, no having your finger on the trigger, no nothing like that. Punch straight out and break a shot. One second in time. Shooter ready, stand by. Seven four. All right, seven four. The next one's gonna be from holster. For me, guys, I have that contact reference point. I talked about it yesterday. That's my forearm on the gun. You guys can have your hands any which way you want, whether that's up here on your head, whatever it is. Interview stance, whatever you guys want to do. One and a half seconds, draw straight out, and one round on C-zone size of target. You don't have a forearm here, Craig. No, you're just reading off okay. there. Shooter ready. Stand by. One, three, five. All right, 135 has to be under 150. Now the next one's gonna be rifle, low ready, downward cover, 45 degree angle, standardized for everyone here online. 45 degree, downward cover, on signal, you'll snap up, weapon off safe, and break one round on C zone size of target. Shooter, shooter ready, stand by. 7-5. And high ready, looking over top of the muzzle. Shooter ready. Stand by. Eight, nine. Now for that one transition one, take that empty mag, tack reload it into the gun, setting yourself up with a dry gun. That's what's gonna make you guys go ahead and transition to the pistol. One transition one, two and a half seconds from any ready position of your choosing, all right? Shooter ready. Stand by. Two, two, eight. All right, so I would retain my man card today. Now we're gonna get you guys all out online and we're gonna force you to perform on demand in front of your peers. All right, let's get out and do it.